I think there has to be some glimmer of humour in it. Even if it's a character that you don't actually, that doesn't do good things, that is a bad person or a sad person or a negative kind of person, there has to be a glimmer of a soul in there, otherwise there's just no interest. There has to be some connection with the character, a sort of personal link to something um, that you can kind of hook into. The work I did for Clementine Churchill was totally different from anything I'd ever done before because I've always avoided hard work um, by choosing roles that haven't, you know, not doing historical figures, for example. If you're doing a historical figure, then you're in trouble. There's very little footage of her, but what there is, you see somebody who's really, really nervous. And I thought that was really endearing, to be married to the man who was actually saving the world and to be so jittery around other people. I found that really touching. She was never allowed to develop, or she was never given the tools to develop her brain um, and her intellect. And she had to do it all by herself. And she kept up really, really well. Um, and that I found really, I found that really admirable. I tend to kind of try and find out the essentials and then imagine. Nowadays, there's no rehearsal. It's very rare to have rehearsal. Um, and I'm a bit of a pedant and a bore, so I go off and ask people to run lines and do things like that, and people look at me a bit sideways when I ask to do that, but I just like having a crack at it before and, and hearing the other person's voice, because sometimes you get on the set and you are introduced to some unbelievably famous actor who you're a little bit in awe of or frightened of or whatever, and then you've got to just sort of just do it. So I, I prefer to, you know, have a crack at it before, so at least I get used to the, the sound of his or her voice, you know. And there's nothing better than working with an actor who can surprise you all the time and, and, that, and who you can trust. So you know he's not going to put you in a position where you can't get out of it. He's going to work with you, but he's not, he's, it's not going to be anything you've ever imagined before. That is very, very exciting, which is the case with Gary, obviously. But it's not very positive what I'm going to about to say, but, but I, think it, I think you just have to learn to be really, really, to not take it, take it all personally whether that be success or failure or rejection or, um, you know, audience going head over heels about you. you just got to keep it all in one place, in a very safe box, because the rejection doesn't get any better. You know, after 30 years of doing this job, if somebody says, no, you can't have that job, oh, it's awful. What's wrong with me? It's, it, it hasn't got any better since I was 20. You know, it's the same. Um, and the success is thrilling. And, but actually, I am better at enjoying the success, but knowing that it's, I can keep it in the box, but I can enjoy it in the box. Um, 